on the crash 500 years market right here we can see that the market have been selling for a very long period of time so the first step you want to make sure for you to be successful and grow your small account is to set the amount of loss size which you are willing to use so i want you to take note that if you are using the lowest loss size which is about 0.2 you'll be getting up to 10 cent per each successful candle ticks this means that when a fully candle tick is fully grown because on the one minute time frame right one after one minute you will get 10 cents for each successful candle ticks that you successfully buy because on the crash market you buy and on the sell market on the boom market on the crash market you buy and on the boom market you sell so if you successfully got this green candle tick without a spike coming into the market you have gotten 10 cents from that market in time so how you be able to grow your your account is based on the amount of loss size you use and the type of strategy that you use as well so for example what you do is you set the loss size now remember that if you're using 0 0.2 the profit you'll be making is 0 0.10 cent right for each successful candle ticks at a time so right now we are going to observe this market which is the first thing you should do is to observe all right you want to observe this market clearly and we can see that the market have sold for a very long period of time from here down to this point right now the market have sold now we'll go back to the historical trend and see how the market have been going we'll zoom out a little bit all right so we're seeing a very huge amount of sell in this market the market have been selling for a very long period of time even though it bought from this point here even though the market bought up to this point we can see that there's a lot of red line going towards the downward trend continuously even though it was going upward so we have gotten our entry right here for a buy but let's go over to the one hour time frame now you can see that even on the one hour time frame the market has sold as well as the one minute time frame the same pattern of which the market has followed on the one minute time frame and also on the one hour time frame if you go to the one minute now zoom out you can see this is the same pattern the market has followed and on the one hour time frame the same pattern the market has followed as well so what do you do now is to look for a possible buy but the thing is that this market should buy right this market should buy but because the one minute time frame moves quickly than the one hour time frame the market would sell again on the one minute time frame because the market have bought right here you can see the market have bought up to this point for over about 10 candle ticks on nine for about nine candle ticks is market have bought so there's a chance there's a higher chance that this market would sell just as it did here look at it it sold just as you can see the market might follow the same pattern again so we'll put in the moving average on main window period 40 shift zero method simple the style on three pixels color purple then you click on done all right even though that the moving average you can see that it's showing us a downward trend right if we check the one hour time frame you can see that the moving average is going towards this direction all right this direction right here that's the direction the moving average is following before it will now retest upwards okay before it will retest upward i hope you understand what i'm saying so the moving average will follow this pattern straight upwards straight before it will go upwards so we're seeing that this market would buy sell buy and sell following like this a little bit before it will go upwards i hope you understand what i'm saying so this means that we are looking for a sell position at this point so when you want to scalp the market you look for a sell just to confirm this to you guys we'll put in the rsi 
on indicator window one period 14 apply to close level 90 and 10 style on four pixels color black then you click on done the style right here on white color then one pixel all right you click on done then we'll put in the macd indicator you can see the setup fast ema 24 slow ema 24 fast ema 14 macd sma 10 applied to close main black color signal red for the styles all right so we are expecting the market to sell at this point in time all right although the macd is a started creating an upward trend the macd has started creating an upward trend this market would buy for a certain amount of time before it will sell now remember that this market let's zoom out a little bit i want to remember that this market could retest okay you can see that let me zoom in a little bit trace from this candle thing right now this one here or let's even use this one you can see this was a spike right towards the downward trend now this market is going towards the upward, upward trend right now but there's a chance that there's a chance that this market could retest as it did let me show you like here now you can see what happened here the market was going towards the upward trend and after i bought for one candle here towards the upward trend the next one was a very long sell all right very long sell so such a thing can still happen at this point in time so that's why that we're going to wait because it's not always good when market have bought for a you know considerable amount of time like over 10 candle ticks it's not good to place a buy because on the crash market because the spike might come into the market there's a chance because the market is crash it's a crash market and it's always volatile and if you look at this point right here it says on average one drop occurs on price series every 500 ticks although it's, it does not always happen like this all the time but you can see it will it may drop there's a chance so we don't want to take that kind of risk right because you are you want to grow your small account so at this point right here you observe and you wait you wait until you see a good entry point or you wait until the magda has start creating an upward trend when start creating an upward trend after about few candle ticks after few candle ticks like this then you then you wait all right all right like i said i just look at it the market spike right you can see take a look just like i said i told you guys that something like this may happen and the market might end up selling so for example if you had place a a buy now at this point here now and you'll be happy that you have bought two candles you have gotten two candle ticks this bike will just came in into the market just like that and take away those profit imagine that this bike only took about two candle ticks if it had come down with a huge spike like long like this you might even end up you know blowing up your account if you have a very low balance all right if you have a very low balance so even at this point this spike is too small for you to place a buy again all right it's too small for you to place another buy at that point in time before you place a buy you want to make sure that the spike that come into the market is big like this one and like this one okay the spike should be long like this and like this even like this as well the market is already at the oversold and it's going towards the upward trend position so how do you now grow your small account with your step the way for you to grow your account is for you to always observe this market carefully 
even as you are observing this market like this knowing when to place a buy and when to place a sell is a good strategy for you to grow your small account because if you use you are using the smaller size as possible and after a very long spike of entering into the market you place your buy and scalp the market if you have a balance of let's say you have a capital of 10 let's just call it let's just say let's start from 20 dollar account if you have a 20 dollar account and you want to grow it you want to make sure that you use the smallest lot size which is 0 0.2 as to grow that account and you scalp the market you do not want to cash spikes on that market you do not want to cash spike because that small account which you have if you are using it to cash the spikes or planning to cash a spike you know that before the spike would come into the market the market would have to buy for some certain amount of time before the spike would come right and that point whereby the market have been buying your account will be showing minus and they will be taking away those those losses from your account and the market eventually end up not selling at the expected time you would you would not be you know confused and you know without patience you will not end up you know closing the trade and those profits will now those losses will not end up you know minus from your account and you end up in a losing trade and as times goes on if you are doing the same thing over and over again you will end up you know blowing those those accounts and you end up with nothing so that's why you tend to want to scrap this market taking advantage of small price movement whenever you have a smaller account like you know most beginner traders don't have like i can say that beginner traders have from ten dollar to fifty dollar account most beginner traders from 10 to 50 dollar account these are the accounts they have because at this their first stage they tend to want to try out the market okay they want to try out the market to see how the market would work for them if the skills they have learned would you know can make them so profit but you know it does not always go you know the way you plan it to go that's why you need to focus on the strategy which you want to use. Make sure that the loss that you are using is very little because your, your, your capital is little. And you are scrapping the market, taking five candle ticks each. All right. If you want to be even more safe for the market, take about four candle ticks. Just four. Just four. When you, see, when you have a successful, you know, buy entry, when you see a successful buy entry, you go for four candle ticks then after you have gotten that five that four candle six then you wait and observe when the when there's a place when the place is safe is safe for you to place another buy then you enter into the market again and collect on that four candle six from that market and with all the combination you have gotten from the market you will end up getting more profit from that trade entries all right now you can see that even at this point when the spike came into the market the market continued to buy and if you are if you are looking for a sell entry at this point you will want to zoom out into the market for a little bit at this point right here you want to look for the spike if you are a spike casher okay i'm talking about the spike casher right now at this point right here you want to look for the spike because if you look at this point right here this this macd here at this point the market spike right take a look this line from here is almost the same as almost the same size let's zoom out like this almost the same take a look. even at here there was a spike right here there was a spike right here there was a spike right at here there was a spike here there was a spike so there's a chance that there's going to be another spike here because the market have bought for a very long time so another spike should come in into the market at this point in time all right another spike should come into the market during this point in time because there's a higher chance if we go to the one hour time frame right now let's observe this one hour time frame here 
the market have been selling you can see that it's almost complete for it to even break out because if you take a look at this point the market here from here now the market bought right to this point it bought here then it retested backwards then it broke out all right it broke out from that point in time and if you take a look if you take a look now let's remove this if you take a look now this market right here sold all right it sold up to this point now and it, it bought this place that is going up is a bio it's also a buy although you are seeing that it's a sell but the market is buying right now and it's going towards the upper trend and it will not break out from here now to break out and start creating another upper trend but this does not mean that this market will not sell if you go to the one uh, one minute time frame right now you zoom in a little bit you can see from here now the market have bought you can see i told you that there was still going to be another spike right and the spike came into the market so at this point the best thing you want to look for is spike okay although you cannot really tell how long the spike is going to be but there is a chance that the spike that's going to come into the market might be long and you know that that's what spike cashers are always looking for they are looking for a very long spike that can make them profit within seconds all right